Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be doing a short review on the silhouette target that was donated to us by ShootSteel.com. We're also going to be using our ballistic skeleton to show you what can happen if you shoot steel incorrectly. Let's take a look at some of the key features of the silhouette target by ShootSteel.com. Uh, this is quarter inch thick steel. The representative over at Shoot Steel actually sold me on it. I was considering getting the 3 8 inch steel, but he said, you know what, I'll send you the quarter inch. It rings a lot better for pistol calibers, and I'd have to agree. Uh, my favorite part about this stand is the hanging system. As you can see, the only portion of the hanging system you can see is the end of this carriage bolt here. Now this is hardened steel, so you're not gonna have any problems shooting this directly and having it get deformed. It really doesn't show any wear and tear, and it's really nice. Um, the system is also very easy to take off. It just slides right on the end there. So if you want to move it or take it apart, it really takes no time at all. Uh, the steel target is backed up by a spring system, which allows it to sink back into place. A lot of target stands will lock your target at an angle in order to deflect shrapnel downwards. Now that's not a bad system, but it really dampens the target's ability to give that audible ring once you strike it. So I really like this one because it really puts off that tone. Now the base of the stand is comprised of a standard 2x4 that you can pick up at any hardware store for a relatively cheap price. It's very lightweight also, which is another plus. It features two locking rings. You just turn them until they're finger tight, and this target becomes one system that you can pick up and carry around. It's very lightweight and uh, very durable. Now we have our ballistics gelatin set underneath the silhouette target. This is going to give us a great visual example of just how well the shoot steel system deflects shrapnel away from the shooter. All right, guys, so let's take a look at our ballistics gelatin. We fired four shots into the steel target, and they were all deflected down into the gelatin. Uh, we have hundreds of pieces of shrapnel here, all of which would have been very dangerous to get hit by. Our farthest penetrating one is right here at four inches. If you're wondering what this little weird line is here, that's from our Monolith 28 test. There'll be a link right here. You can check that out if you'd like to. Uh, the steel target did a great job at deflecting all the fragments down in a straight line. If you shoot random pieces of metal or uh, sometimes rocks or anything hard, you can get fragments coming back at you, and that's why it's really important to use proper steel targets. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a nice day.